Invasive species are one of the primary uh, environmental problems worldwide. Florida in particular is, uh, has major problems with invasive species because of its location and its environment. We spend tens of millions of dollars per year in Florida managing invasive plant problems. With global travel and trade, we have species being moved all over the world uh, quite frequently. And so we need to provide a predictive framework to understand which species might be invasive if they are introduced and what kind of problems they might cause. Kogan grass is one of those species. Uh, Kogan grass is widespread throughout uh, Florida and much of the southeast, and it's actually problematic in other areas around the world. I started uh, an, a series of experiments. The, the first uh, involves a combination of experimentally adding Kogan grass to established uh, native plant communities, including longleaf pine seedlings. Uh, and then we added a, a, a drought treatment along with that invasion treatment. So we can look at how drought, invasion, and their interaction uh, affect longleaf pine survival and performance, uh, native plant communities, uh, arthropod communities, and ecosystem processes, including carbon and nitrogen cycling. So far, uh, drought alone has dramatic effects on longleaf pine survival. So there is about a 50% reduction in the number of pine trees that can survive in the face of this drought that we've created with this experiment. We also have a series of sites across northern Florida, across a soil moisture gradient. And we, uh, at those sites, are looking at Kogan grass invasions and experimentally removing the invasions to indirectly look at the effect of the invasion on, on longleaf pine trees and, and other pine species. And so we've actually experimentally added pine trees into plots where we have the invasion, plots where we remove the invasion with different treatments, and nearby uninvaded areas. That experiment is actually very new. We only have uh, looked at uh, just the very preliminary results on that. We do see differences in the methods that we use to remove the invasion, and there's certainly a difference in the performance of the, the coating grass across the soil moisture gradient. One of the primary problems with plant invasion research is that most of the experiments are short time frames. So two to three years at, at most. There's a very few uh, studies that are run longer than that. But we need to understand the long-term effects of invasions. And so we would hope that the experiments would run for five years or more. But we're also interested in motivating policymakers to understand that they need to do something about plant invasions, that we have a real problem with climate change, and that we need to address these problems.